Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The dreaded blue screen of death, I think, is something that most Windows users have experienced at least once. And blue screen errors are also called bug checks, stop code errors, kernel errors, or BSOD errors, as you may well know. And can occur if a serious problem causes Windows to shut down or restart unexpectedly. And why it does this? It's basically to protect itself from data loss. So you might see a message that says your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart or a similar message. And common causes of blue screens of death are hardware issues, driver problems or software issues. And yeah, you also see a stop code at the bottom. In this case, in this example, critical process died or you might see another message as the stop code error. Now, in regards to this, Microsoft has shared basic troubleshooting steps for blue screen errors. And if you are interested, I'll leave this whole post, the support post, in the description because it's got a lot of information on how to troubleshoot steps for blue screen errors. But just to go through some quickly, the first is if you have added new hardware to your PC before the error, shut down your PC, remove the hardware and try restarting. Something else you can do is start your PC in safe mode and then from safe mode you can try the remaining troubleshooting steps that will also be in this article how to start in safe mode if you don't know how to. You can check your device manager which I think the simplest would be just to right click on your start menu and head over to the legacy device manager and check to see if any devices are marked with the exclamation point. And then what you would do is you'd right click on the device, you'd right click on the device, you'd check to see if the driver needs to be updated by clicking on update driver. And if that doesn't help, you can try disabling the device or uninstalling the device and then restarting your actual PC. You can check for sufficient free space on your hard drive. I think that's a big one. Your hard drive needs at least 10 to 15% of free space available. And a simple way to do that would be just to head to your file explorer, head over to this PC, and here you go. You can see I'm using 350 gigabytes of 464. That's just an easy way to check in case you didn't know. You can try installing the latest Windows updates, but I say that with caution because a lot of Windows updates, especially optional bug fix C-release updates can actually cause blue screens and errors, but that is an option. And then you can restore Windows. That will also be in the said article on how to restore Windows um, if you don't know how to do that. And then they also provide advanced troubleshooting steps for blue screens. Check the event viewer, run the Windows memory diagnostics tool and memory dump analysis. And all those links are provided um, in the article. So there we go. I thought that was interesting. So the next time you do face a blue screen of death, you have a little bit more information at your fingertips. And I think for your average home user who's not that tech savvy, I think when a blue screen does happen, it can cause a bit of anxiety, for want of a better word. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.